this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Default! Last time, we awakened the Earth Crystal, getting another support point, so let's get out of here. You might have also noticed there in the menu there, I've made everyone into a ranger, because I would like to learn Paralyze Immunity. Even though it should be Paralysis Immunity, Paralyze is not a noun, but whatever. And you get that at level 5. Ranger, and that should be pretty quick to learn. You awakened the crystal! I'm so glad to see you're unharmed! How do you know that already? You did it, eh? Well done! Well, it's not as if we had it easy here. You should have seen the hail of cannon fire! Oh, you were still dealing with that? Oh, and by the way, we saw a black airship bearing southwest a short while ago. Oh! I wonder what that was about. Probably a bunch of deserters. Always happens when an enemy is vanquished. Yeah, it's probably true with, you know, it happened with the sword bearers and all that. Yep, sure does. Well, we'd probably do the same if we got our ass kicked, but we didn't. Okay, so let's see. Uh, before, uh, well, going to look for the holy pillar and all that, I've got some things that I want to take care of first. There's some items I want to buy, and some preparations that I want to make. And besides, I'm not going to be going to the Holy Pillar first thing, anyway. But let's see. Okay, so let's see. We got... Yeah, I want to buy a couple more rods of ice. Those will be useful for us coming up. And I desperately <laughs> need to heal up after the Gigas Lich kicked my ass there. Holy cow. And let's see. Okay, so we got the Holy Pillar over there, and we got Vampire Castle. I want to go to Vampire Castle first, but before doing that, but I also want to buy something back at Florham there. So let's just autopilot to get over there instantly. But yeah, I'll just tell you, uh, well, hold on a sec. Let me finish business here first, and then I'll, uh, get back to the plot there. But let's see. Ah, there it is. Forgot exactly where the uh, weapon shop was, but okay. Let's see. Let's get two rod two more rods of fire. Those would be pretty useful. We're getting to the point in the game where, I mean, yeah, I'll still use non-elemental rods, but if there's only one element you really care about, you're better off equipping two rods to boost that element than to equip a rod that has slightly more magic uh, attack on it. But let's see. Okay, yeah, let's get back to Eternia there. I want to go to Southmore. I think that'll be the fastest way to get to where we want to go. Now, they were saying that the airship fled, or the black airship, fled to the southwest. And if you went straight southwest of here, you would end up on the other side of the world map in the southeast corner there where you got that orange exclamation point. I don't want to go there yet, but I'll just tell you, that's where the Holy Pillar is. You can't miss it. But I want to go to Vampire Castle first, now that we've, uh, or Frost Coffin, or whatever they call it. Now this part, you are not intended to do this part right now. You're probably supposed to wait until quite a bit later in the game. But I've got some special preparations that'll make it possible to do it now. Not necessarily easy. Not foolproof, but possible, and very worthwhile, without using 100% invincibility strats either. By the way, as far as dealing with the enemies around here go, let's see, with Tiz, I, I mostly have him set up to either use Flea if I run into a battle that really isn't worth my time. If they're not weak to fire, it's not worth my time. So I'd rather fight something else or grind it out. Uh, with Agnes, though, I'm having her cast Fyra four times on all the enemies there, along with double fire, rods of fire. I have my setup listed in the video description there, if you want to check that out. But let's see, with Ringabel and Dia, since they are rangers, I've got them equipped with bows to match, give them the best attack power I can. And then we've got Chivalry for Vengeance and Acrobatics for Crescent Moon there. So that's how I'm just going to deal with the enemies. I really don't have anything better to equip in the last 
support point slot right now, but I do have Pierce Magic Defense to help out Anya's damage. And if I really need a little more damage, we've also got Tiz. He could throw like a bomb fragment or bomb arm or what have you there. But what I have is a Foxtail Axe. All right, that boosts your agility by 20. That's huge. Although I'm not gonna be using that at the earliest chapter five, but even then, I don't think I really need it until much later in the game. But let's see what we got here. Okay, so we're done with that. Really, I've gotten everything that I'll actually use out of it that'll have like a tangible effect on my offense or defense. So let's go after costumes now. We got nothing better to do. And whenever I actually uh, decide to do more or get more villagers here and do the next uh, sleep mode session or whatever, then I will, uh, what is it? Then I'll finish off the rest of Narende there. But yeah, everything that really matters, we've got already. I wonder why there's this blue exclamation point here now, all of a sudden. Let's check it out. It's no use. The lock won't open. Nuts. Just like If before. you wish to pass this gate, Seek you the six keystones throughout the lands. Lord DeRoso, is that you? Keystones? What are you doing here? Keys of stone? Stones that are keys? Pirate ghosts? Ghost pirates? Though the way is barred, six number the holes to be filled. I trust you can figure out the rest. Oh. Yeah, I kind of noticed on the door there. The time is ripe to prove yourselves worthy. I shall say no more. No fair! Couldn't you offer a small hint? Perhaps a name, a color, a shape? And a little icon on the world map there, maybe? I said I shall say no more. Now off with you. Blizzard fist! I shall await your return. No, no, that's another game. Hmm, I wonder what that's all about. Well, anyway, the six keystones, I'll just tell you, they are boss fights. And they are really, really hard at this point in the game. So I need to make some preparations. Namely, with uh, the ranger job class, I need to get everyone up to level five to learn paralyzed immunity. When I'm done with that, I want to make everyone into a red mage. And I'm not going to use it right away, but I want to get everyone up to level 9 red mage to learn BP recovery. That'll be useful, not now, but sooner not, in the relatively near future, viewers. And now Tiz has, what is it? He has JP up. So he's going to finish off his grinding sooner than the other characters. So when I'm done with him on those two job classes, I'll make him into a thief. I want to get up to level 11 so that way I can learn, I think it's Rob Blind that we get there. And that'll also be very useful for us coming up here. But that's everything I got to do here. So I'm going to, well, take some time. Uh, for the grinding, I would recommend going to, uh, what is it, Southmore there. Because as long as it's daytime... All the enemies will be weak to fire there. And, yeah, you'll be easily able to take them out with either, like, a get, like Vengeance and Crescent Moon, Quadruple Fyra. Maybe throw some bomb fragments if you really need it. And when I make everyone into a red mage after that, they'll have better weapon proficiency with swords. So, like, you could use the Flame Tongue there. Or, or like, with Adia, I could put her back on... The Diamond Staff, they also have, Red Mages have pretty good weapon proficiency with those as well. And, yeah, Agnes will still be doing the same as ever there. But, yeah, Red Mage will be much easier to grind than the Ranger job class there. So, yeah, get Ranger up to level 5, Red Mage up to level 9, Thief up to level 11 for Tiz, and we should be good to go once I'm done with that. So, I will meet you back at Southmore there once I've taken care of all the grinding I need to do. Okay, we're back on Grand Ship with all the grinding taken care of. Not that I'm going to use it right now, but 
it's available for us when I do need it in the near future. But let's see, yeah, so we got Ranger up to level 5 for everyone to learn the Paralyze immunity. Got Red Mage up to level 9 to learn BP recovery, and that'll be very useful eventually, but not right now. But that's just something that I want to have ready to go, and also to get an extra level, uh, experience level, that is to help us out coming up here. Now, the template that I'm using here for the next series of boss fights is going to be basically the same, except, like, I'll adjust, make some minor tweaks, but this is the general idea. I've got Tiz as a freelancer, because I would really like to master that job class before I'm done with the end of the chapter, and we're going to get a lot of JP out of this. So I lose a little bit of damage because I don't have the speed that a thief would have, but I'm not really counting on him for damage anyway. So if he can, great. If not, I'm not worried about it. But yeah, I also got Thief up to level 11 there for Tiz to learn Rob Blind, so you get two items instead of one whenever you steal. So that that's pretty nice, especially coming up here. But all right, okay, so we got that. Tiz is a freelancer. Agnes is going to be a black mage, both to get the JP and to contribute on elemental damage whenever she can. And, okay, well, let's take a look at the abilities that we got here. We got thievery, because there's going to be some items that I'm going to be wanting to steal coming up here. And, yeah, Rob Blind, JP Up, all that to help out. We need a lot of speed to outrace these bosses here. So, yeah, we've got Pierce Magic Defense to help out with damage, but otherwise we need speed. We also need level 4 White Magic coming up here, primarily for Dispel there. And, let's see, with Ring a Bell, we got Rampart there to help him out help us out with defense that is a mandatory requirement for the strategy that I will be using here. But otherwise, yeah, pretty standard. Sword Magic Amp will be really good for us if we get the chance to go on the offense. Let's see, now with Adia as a uh, performer there, I want her to do that so she can cut the MP costs in half. Because these fights are going to take a while, but I also got, uh, what is it, One More For You. That's the song that I want to be using there to help out with Rampart there, because that costs a lot of BP. It costs two every time I want to cast that. So this will help us out here. Now, there are some ways... Oh, by the way, we got medication for compounding various things. But yeah, there are some ways to make these fights immensely easier. You could use duplicate job commands like you can make everyone into uh what is it uh, a ninja there and they have an ability i forget what it's called but it like guarantees your evasion of the next physical attack that's dealt to them that could do it or you could get a spirit master and use uh what was that stillness to make yourself completely invulnerable but i've banned that here or you can make everyone into Valkyries and have everyone jump before the bosses can attack you there or whatever. You might need to use one of their higher tier jumps, whatever it's called. I don't know. I've never done that. And since I'm banning duplicate job commands at this point, I couldn't do that for my entire party anyway. So this is the setup that I've come up with to make the fights a reasonable challenge without doing anything too abusive. And let's see. Okay, we need to buy some more things before heading out. So let's see what we got here. Okay, I'm not going to need it right away, but eventually I will want to have more rainbow dresses. Nice thing about them, I primarily want to use them for the confusion protection that they give on the body armor slot so that way i don't have to waste like headgear or an accessory or a support point to do that so if you can do that on like a headgear or body armor slot so much the better so that way i don't have to waste that but to some extent i i have to do some of it uh, let's see. Okay, so that's all the equipment that I want to get. Now, for the first one I'm going to be taking on, we're going to want to have a whole bunch of permacrystals. 
Except I'm going to want them for the next dungeon that we're going to go to anyway. And I want to have a full stack of those. So, yeah, just buy a whole bunch of those. Let's see. What's the other one? Fairy wings. I want to buy a whole bunch of those. Sorry, Ari. But I do need them for some mixing there. And I'll probably buy some other ones depending on the situation. But I won't need full stacks of those. Just enough depending on what we've got here. Okay, so let's see. I've got my setup listed in the video description, by the way, for those who uh, are playing along here. So let's head to our first keystone. I want to go with the easiest one first because there's no status ailment for us to worry about. And, well, yeah, I mean, that'll make the setup much easier for this one. Let me see. I also want to... Disable the encounter rate, not because I actually, uh, what is it? Not because I I would run into something, but just to make absolutely sure I don't get into a battle half a step before we initiate the boss fight. So yeah, you see that thing right above us there? That's one of the keystones. If you tried going up to them earlier, nothing would happen. It's just a little thing in the background, but that's what, uh, what is it? That's what DeRoso was talking about there. So you need to find all those in order to gain access to his castle. For boss time! Whoa! What does a vampire need dragons for? But alright, so the dragon that we're fighting here, Salamander, has three attacks. Uh, one of them is a breath attack that hits your entire party for fire elemental damage, but it's considered a physical attack, oddly enough. So, yeah, we want to use Rampart to protect against that. And in order to get the BP, I need to keep up with that. I want to use one more for you on Ring of Bell. Now, the problem with the setup that I'm using here is that if the boss goes two breath attacks right at the start of the battle, we're basically dead because I can't use another Rampart there. I suppose I could also have Adia use, uh, what is it, two one of the one more fuse for Ring a Bell there, but then we would just die in the next round anyway. Yeah, we're basically dead at this point. <laughs> yeah, if they just do that, that's just really bad luck. I could try to pull this out, but I'd be playing from behind constantly. So, yeah, let's just... We can't run, but I'm just running just to get through the animations faster. So, yeah, if they go double breath right at the start of the battle, just... just die and restart. Because, yeah, it's just gonna be a nightmare trying to crawl back into that fight there. Let's try this one again. Okay, so yeah, I have uh, Tiz and Anya's default there. Let's see, ring a bell. Yeah, as usual, let's try this one again. And, well, you know what, let's give it an, let's try the other way. Let's try using two of the One More For You songs on ring a bell there. So that way, if he does go breath attack in the first round, I could attack against it, but in, then I might die in the third round anyway. So, okay, well, he did that. <laughs> and let's see, okay, let's try Rampart again, but now I'm in negative BP. So yeah, if he does the breath attack again, then I'm dead anyway, either way. Okay, well, we're good there. Okay, so that's his other attack that he could do that inflicts fire weak on your entire party there. So the breath attack, that even overrides the protection of the ice flame shield there. So you want to watch out for that. But, uh, what is it? Rampart will still be able to protect you even with the fire weak status on you. Okay, so what I want to do now... Okay, so once you've made it to round three and everyone is alive, you're good to go. You should be able to survive, unless he does, like, 
fire breath like five rounds in a row or something ridiculous like that, which, well, should never happen. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, we got uh, stealing going there for Tiz, as well as scanning the boss there. Let's see, I'm going to go with Quadruple Blizzaga, because, well, it's a salamander. What element do you think he's weak to with the fire breath he's using on us? Well, he's not weak to fire. Damn it, viewers! <laughs> nah, nah, but yeah, he's weak to ice there. But, okay, so, yeah, we got that. Let's get Rampart going there. And, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, let's go double one more for you on ring -a bell there. So that way we can try and get him ahead on BP there somehow. Yeah, look at that damage, being able to pierce that... Uh, magic defense there. But otherwise, we're doing pretty good. Okay, now, uh, the boss has two items to steal. But, uh, what is it? Yeah, we only got the one. So, let's keep trying to steal there. Now, if he does that physical attack on only one of your party members, you still got Rampart up on three of them. Ideally, what I would like to do is to have that party member defend and then have Agnes cast Dispel on that party member to remove Fire Weak, which will work, except if he still attacks Agnes anyway, she'll die. But I've got to try Dispel anyway and hope she doesn't get hit. Otherwise, I could have someone else try to uh, revive her. Usually, Adia there, if ring -a bells BP is doing okay. Still can't get it. That's why I've got the Thief Bloods on him. Okay, let's go with another Steel there. Agnes. Okay, so when you have two party members that have lost Rampart, that's when you want to get Rampart going, even though the other two party members still have it. But, yeah, losing it on two party members is just too much. So, okay, yeah, we might as well just go with Lazaga at this point. Get Rampart going again. Have a Dia give one more to Ring a Bell there. And that should be good. But yeah, now I don't really need to concentrate on building up my BP for Tiz or Agnes or whatever. Okay, we've got Fire Week, but everyone's got Rampart, so we're still good. Let's keep on trying to steal. Lizaga, and now I want to try and build up some surplus BP for ring -a bell while I don't need to cast Rampart, so that way if the boss goes into pissy boss mode with the fiery breath attack, we'll be able to handle that. Okay, so let's see. We've got... Yeah, we still didn't steal the item, so let's just keep on going there. Let's see. Okay, Rampart is off of everyone. Let's get Rampart back up. And still do one more for you there on Ring a Bell. Okay, okay, we're good. Actually, that's ideal because uh, now Tiz has that Ice Flame shield on him. And if I use Dispel on him, that'll not only get rid of Fire Weak, but that will restore the fire immunity protection of the Ice Flame Shield. So that's pretty nice. Okay, let's see. With ring -a bell let's see. We've got Rampart on three of my party members. So, uh, what was I doing? Yeah, we got a Dispel, Tiz, have him default, ring -a bell default as well. And I don't need to use one more for you. Uh, well, yeah, you know what? Let's use that on him just in case we get into a bad spot there. Usually, if I get Ring of Bell up to 2BP, I'm fine with where he is. And I would like Tiz to keep on stealing, but I need him to defend, or default, so that he won't die. Okay, so now that we've got a surplus of BP on Ring of Bell, and, yeah, Rampart up on three of my party members, I'm gonna have him go with Sword Magic, Blizzaga, and then use Giant Slayer that deals 50% more damage if the boss has more HP than you, which he has immensely more than we do. So let's go with Giant Slayer there. And Dia, let's see. Let's have her... Yeah, let's have her throw 
one of the Arctic Winds. If you don't have that, just mix two of those Permit Crystals, and that'll make an Arctic Wind with compounding there. Not bad on the damage there. Okay, we're good. Okay, so Tiz, you are... Well, yeah, you can get going now. Let's see. Okay, so let's have you... Hmm. Yeah, why don't you just steal once and see what happens. Roll the dice. Okay, Blazaga, let's get... Uh, what is it? Rampart going again. And then... Where is it? One more for you on ring bell there. So basically, if ring bell is at 2 or 3 BP, that's when I want to... You know, have him, maybe have him go on the offense if I have Rampart up on everyone. So that's just something to keep in mind. I did not see whether I actually stole the item or not. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, well, we'll just have to keep going here. Rampart. And normally I would try to uh, recover some of Agnes's MP because she's starting to get a bit light on that. But I don't have the time to do that right now. Okay, there we go! Double Dragon Fangs! Those things, I think they cost like five grand a piece. So that's why I wanted to have Rob blind, so I could start stealing them here. But alright, so Tiz, you can uh, default before we go nuts there. Let's see, okay, Agnes, you can go on the offense. Ring a bell. Let's start uh, building up your BP again. We've got Rampart on everyone. I don't care about Fire Week right now. And basically, what I'm waiting for is to get the boss below 60,000 HP, and then we can go all out and finish him off. Okay, so let's see. We got the Gale Bow there. Let's get haste going on Tiz. Whoops. Okay, so let's get that. Then equip any elemental weapon that's relevant to the boss fight. In this case, the Ice Brand. And I don't really need the shield, but I'll just equip it again anyway. And then we'll go double god speed strike, exploiting that elemental weakness there. Okay, Agnes, you... Let's see, let's just have you default, because I don't have the MP for you right now. How are we looking? Hmm. Okay, I was going to have Adia. No, you know what? We can still do that. We can have a Dia. We only need one more Rampart to get through the rest of this fight. But I do want a Dia to help restore some of Agnes' MP. So, let's see. Let's mix an Aether and a High Potion to get the Quarter Elixir. You can see what it does on the bottom of the top screen there. And we got Rampart to get through the next round there. Okay, so this will get him below 60,000, and I think we can finish the guy off if I just go all out here. Hmm, it's going to be a little close. Maybe I should play it conservatively here. Yeah, why don't we do that? Let's go one more round because he didn't use the fire breath on us, so I think we'll be okay. Let's get the spell on ring -a bell Get one more Blizzaga in there. ring -a bell can default. And let's have Adia throw one of those Arctic Winds. Okay, so we got that. Okay, we'll guarantee survive this round. Everyone, everyone will survive. Get a little more damage in there. I don't care about Fire Week. Okay, now we can go all out. So let's see, yeah. Quadruple Blazaga there. Ring a bell. Oh, I lost the, uh, what is it? The Blizzaga sword magic. Hmm, how's your HP looking? We should be fine. Okay, let's go with Blizzaga there. Yeah, we'll be alright. Blizzaga. Hmm, what's the special move we got? Hmm. You know, let's go for that. I don't know that that'll really help us or deal more damage than Giant Slayer, but we've got it. We might as well try and put it to use. And then go Quadruple Arctic Wind. It'll be close, but I think we can finish him off here. I, we better finish him off, or I'm dead anyway. But yeah, I thought Blizzaga Sword Mansion would have lasted a little longer, but, well, 
Yeah, we dealt a little less damage, but I do get more physical attack power, so that boosts the power of my giant slayers. Okay, we got this! We got this! Yeah! Got him! Woohoo! Whoo! Well then. <laughs> I was unscathed? How was I unscathed in that fight? I thought like he- Oh, the physical attacks were always blocked by Rampart. I never actually took any damage, or he never attacked the same person twice there. But, alright, yeah, we got a really good JP boost out of uh, winning the boss fight there. Woohoo! Okay. One down. <laughs> you won. Why, you have mastered my contrivance and defeated its guardian. Very well. I shall grant you the fire keystone. Hey, all right. That voice. Lord De Rosso? How is he talking to us all the way over here? This stone must be one of the keys to Vampire Castle. I mean, okay, it's like telepathy, or maybe he just has a loudspeaker around or something. I don't know. All right, five more to go. <laughs> you seem awfully confident there, Tiz. <laughs> By the way, if you don't do this side quest right now, you don't have to. You can wait until later. This isn't like the previous ones where if you missed them... Well, I would think you would miss them for good. Uh, honestly, actually, I'm not too sure about that. I've never actually gone without doing all of them, but I would imagine so. But this one is special. You don't have to do it now. You could wait until later in the game and still do it. But it is very much worthwhile to do it now if you have courage. But can we defeat another one of the tougher guardians of the Keystones? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Default. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day! <laughs>